Twitch, I'm already getting bites now. It's really easy to get bites on this lake. Shit, you fucker. I'm using fake, fake bait so it doesn't come off as often as worms. Oh, you motherfucker. And the perch are small here. You'll get big ones, but just... The big ones don't have enough time to get it. Oh, this feels nice. Huh. Not too bad. I'm not going to keep them, but... Eh. If it's a jumbo, I'll keep it. But, eh. First fish of the day. There you go, bud. Really? You could fish right underneath the hole. You could fish right underneath the hole, and you could... Uh, You'll, you'll catch some something. Yeah. There's about a, well, there's about eight, nine inches of ice, and I'm about in 15 feet of water. Well, no, 10 feet of water about. That's all you need for perch fishing, or whatever. I'm fishing for anything that bites. I don't care. Oh, great weeds. I'm just fishing. I'm fishing right in the. It's like. A, almost like a drop. There you go. There's one. I'm fishing right beside a drop. Holy fuck, that's small. Right, like where I am, it comes up, and then I'd say about five feet away from where I am, beside me, it goes straight back down about a good 20 feet. The deepest part of this lake is, I think it's like 80 feet. It's not a very big lake. It's in Falconbridge. It's called Norway Lake in Falconbridge, Ontario, near Garson. It's not man-made, it's naturally made. Yeah, so. I'll show you the whole lake afterwards. I'll make a nice cutting video too. I should make myself a homemade rod so I can put two. I need four holes around me, so. Oh, you motherfucker. They are tricky, just to let you know. sucks. I think I just lost my bait or something. It was a lot lighter. Oh no, it's still there. There you go. You motherfucker. So, oh. Sometimes it gets really annoying because some of them are so small that you always miss them, like I just did now. bunch of quads around here. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah. I really hate AT gravel. It's it's behind there. There uh there used to be kilometers of bush behind in the back of the lake, but now all you can see is just dump trucks, just gravel, sand. That's all getting torn up. Fucking city, man. And I come here when there's, I've come here when there's about three inches of ice. And like late October, uh, like close, like I'd say like around November 10th, November 9th, around there. I go fishing around that time, but I come here because nobody could see me. Nobody could call a cop saying, oh, he's pounding on the ice. Oh, uh, I tried fishing in Middle Lake in Sudbury around December after, around, in, around this time. It was on, uh, on, uh. Christmas break, and uh, holy shit, 
and there was at least a good foot of ice on there, and people just called the cops just because there was water on top of the ice. And, like, you guys are just fucking retarded. <laughs> oh, I got so pissed off. It was incredible. So I'm never gonna go fishing in the city again, and I don't, and I don't like the city anyways. So the only time I go fishing in the city is during the summer for pike. During the summer, I go fishing on uh, on my boat on the Ramsey. Just a little 12 footer with an eight horsepower mar mariner on the back. Except my boat is old. My boat is like, my boat's old, the 12 foot, it's a, it's a 1957, um, Feathercraft. Holy shit, that thing is like a tank. Not tippy at all. The biggest mortar I put back there was a 15, in the, and the limit was a 7.5. I know it might sound crazy to you, but, eh. Yeah, those things are done. They don't smell like anything anymore. Fuck. I've had those for like four years, never used. Yeah, and I've uh, and I cut the holes with the the ice auger with the on the other video that I made. Has been starting two years. Starts in well, starting like ten poles, but it's a good freaking. It's a good. Uh, it's a good one. It's uh, I think it's a 1992. I think it's a 1992. I think my, my grandpa either said eight, 1989 or 1992. Well, let's just say it's a 1992. It's a 1992 uh, uh, Jiffy, the Model 30. Oh, fuck. It works like a champ. Well, it's hard to start sometimes, but... Hey, you know what? It's better than nothing. Love it. Oh, there you go. There's some Come on. Come on, you little shit. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, that felt fucking... That was big bites, man. I'm not even using the perch rod. I'm using more like... Pickerel rod, walleye. Oh, you motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you? And over there was the mine. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's uh, Falcon Bridge Mine. That's where the, that big accident happened with that guy. His head got cr uh, it was 1984 or 1982. Uh, yeah, a guy, a guy. It was an accident, a mining accident. Um, the guy got his head crushed between the machine and the and the rock, and the guy he uh, oh fuck. Yeah. His uh, his wife have to go had to go down to say goodbye because as soon as they released the pressure off his head, he died in a matter of minutes. Yeah. Well, that the mine to go down underground is shut down, but the smelter and shit like that is still working. Like the building's still in commission. There's a lot of abandoned mines like around this area. Like there's one there's one 600 feet away from me, right right in front of me there. Used to be. Right on a rock cut. Yeah. This thing here, this here is just like a, a Canadian desert. Like, all the, all the trees have all spikes. They all have, holy shit. Like, not one tree. All you see is probably like, those in back here are all the pine trees that you're going to see here. <laughs> Freaking funny. I think they all like freaking perch. They move on all the time, man. Eh? Pain in the ass. Yeah, freak. Well, I'm gonna try making another hole with the auger. Ram 
happened like 15 minutes ago. Don't start doing it again. Come on. Need a prime for a good time or what?